welcome old friends and new to the Bring Your Own Grief Network and a special episode, Daily Inspirations. Our existence on earth is not infinite. Shortly after the first breath of life came to mankind, so too did the ultimate reality of losing someone loved deeply. Mourning and grief, therefore, are as old as life itself and have been the impassioned topic of many well-known philosophers, scholars, poets, prophets, playwrights, and many more over the centuries. Well, I'd like to share my favorite pieces of these works here with you today. One inspiration, one episode for each day of the year. Each remains in my cherished collection and continues to help me on my painful journey towards hope and healing. So join me now, please, as I present to you today's daily inspiration. I do hope that perhaps it might serve you as it has me. January 5th, and here we are together for another early year daily inspiration. January, a month in North America where much of nature is asleep, preparing for the growth that comes with the spring, and spring always brings a renewal. You too are seeking renewal, aren't you? Or you wouldn't be here. Thank you for allowing me to offer inspiration during this time, inspiration for healing and moving forward in our grief journeys together. As I always say, although we will never completely heal from our loss, we will move forward in a renewal we may not have even asked for, but one we must face. I am honored to share a moment of yours. Now, today's daily inspiration comes from the Reverend James H. Augie, who lived from 1828 to 1911. Now, Reverend Augie was a Union Army chaplain imprisoned in the Deep South by Confederates for not disavowing his Union loyalties. He would escape, however, and write his autobiography as well as the work Spiritual Gems of the Ages. And gratefully, he also wrote our daily inspiration to follow. Augie wrote, Christ is a good physician. There is no disease he cannot heal, no sin he cannot remove, no trouble he cannot help. He is the balm of Gilead, the great physician who has never yet failed to heal all the spiritual maladies of every soul that has come unto him in faith and prayer. Now, throughout the 365 daily inspirations I have or will continue to provide, you will find ones that come from various religions, as well as a few cultural prayers and proverbs from around the globe. While many will speak directly to moving forward through loss, some, such as Augie's words here, are just meant to provide us strength. Regardless of religion, the vast majority of us believe in a higher power, no matter, no matter what we call him or it. It's wonderful, it's just wonderful to know that during times of trouble, times of pain, we have someone who is the great healer, with no trouble, no malady which cannot be healed through him. Oftentimes, early in my grief, I felt alone, even with other immediate family members around. Knowing I had my beliefs of the great physician gave me strength and helped me realize I was never alone. And you are not alone either. Hold to your faith, regardless of whether it is shared by others, and you will never be alone and will continue down your path of hope and healing. So that's today's daily inspiration and my thoughts. But you know, as well as I do, we are all as unique as snowflakes and fingerprints, aren't we? You may well take the words differently, and I ask, I welcome and would love to have you leave your unique understanding of the words we shared together in the comments section below this YouTube video. Please do. I welcome the conversation, the chance to start a dialogue and get to know the thoughts of my fellow grievers, and maybe, maybe travel a little farther myself down the path of hope and healing. If you found value in this daily inspiration, please like it here on YouTube and share it with others. Share it with those you feel could use a hand to hold on to. And please subscribe to the BYOG Network YouTube channel. The more likes, shares, and subscribers we have, the easier it is for other bereaved souls to find help in their search. So thank you for spending this time of healing with me. No, I am so very sorry for your loss, as I know you are mine. I am R. Glenn Kelly. May you find peace and purpose.